Hello everyone, in this video I aim to explain how enemies scale in Warframe, or in other words, how enemy stats increase or decrease as the enemy level changes. In Warframe there are essentially five main stats that change with enemy level, they are health, shields, armor, damage, and affinity. Okay, so a super quick refresher on what exactly each stat does. Health does not normally regenerate and can be affected by armor. It is also the fastest scaling stat of the group. Shields can regenerate after a short period of time and enemies can sometimes gain over shields. However, most importantly, shields are not affected by armor. Armor, on the other hand, reduces incoming damage. The more armor an enemy has, the lesser damage you will deal to that enemy. Damage is pretty self-explanatory. It's just how hard the enemy hits. Affinity is the number you see over an enemy's head when you kill them. This ranks up your weapons, warframe syndicates, etc. The higher the level of the enemy, the more affinity you gain. Okay, so moving on over to the math portion of it now, what you're seeing on your screen is a calculator that I made that essentially just tells you all the base stats of the enemy and then you can go and move over to the current stats. So if you plug in your base stats, it'll then tell you the current stats. So let's just say, so right now I have a corrupted bombard here. So he's got a base level of four, base health of 300, base armor of 500, base shield of zero, and then you got base damage and affinity and such like that. So the base health is 300, we'll go ahead and plug that in. And then the base armor is 500, base shield is zero. Boop. Put that as zero, and then base affinity and base damage. And let's say the current level is, we'll put it at level 10. He's not all that, he's not all that scary yet. So our base health moves from 300 to 462. So we can go ahead and just by clicking on this, we can see how that is calculated. So on the formula here, it says A2 times 1 plus B2 minus C2 squared times 0 0.015. So what does that actually mean? Well, we can click on it and it'll show us the, uh, this is just telling us what cells this is in. So the base health is A2, so it's base health times 1 plus B2 minus C2. B2 is just the current level minus the base level squared times 0 0.015. So there you go. That is your formula for current health. And then you can come down here and check out your formula for current armor. We just go ahead and click on this, and then here you go. So A4 is just our base armor, and then times 1 plus B2, which is our current level, minus our base level. And the base base stat times the, um, or times 1 plus the current level minus the base level will be a common trend in the, uh, in the general calculations of all the different stats. However, the their exponents or what they're what they're taken to the power to will differ and also what they're multiplied by will also differ. So it's 0 0.005 here versus 0 0.015. So this is being multiplied by a value that's three times as large as this one down here, and it's also being squared. So this is why health scales so much faster than armor in the game. Uh, so right down here, same thing with the current shield. So it's just A6 times 1 plus B2 minus C2. Check this out. There you go. Base shield times 1 plus current level minus base level squared times 0 0.0075. Now the interesting thing is that the shield does not have the same formula as the current health. So as you get into really, really high level enemies, they will have way more health than they do shield, especially versus corpus. So this is why it's actually better to use like possibly viral versus those enemies at really high level enemies. But um, that's kind of up to you, and you have to kind of try to figure it out on what enemy level you're fighting, and then their average percentage uh, health versus shield. But we'll go into that later. So then we have the base damage per shot and the base damage per second. Now, to find all the stats for the enemies, you have to go to the Warframe wiki, and unfortunately, the base damage per shot and base damage per second is not told, is not really shown on the wiki, and you have to kind of figure that out by yourself. But I'll show you how to do that later in the video. And then the base affinity is just right here. So we got base of 500 and the current affinity is equal to floor times a 10 plus one. Okay, so let's do a little bit of explaining here. So the floor value, that's just rounding. So don't, don't really worry about this too much. Um, you can actually just completely ignore that for the matters, uh, for these matters. But a 10, which is, is the base affinity times one plus B2, which is the current level uh, to the power of 0.5 times 0.1425. Now the interesting thing about this is that it doesn't actually subtract the current level by the base level. So the 
effect of this is that if you have a current level that's equal to the base level, so let's say 4, right, we'll see that all these stats right up here are exactly the same as they are. However, down here, when we come down to affinity, you see that the affinity number is larger than the base affinity. And actually, when you go and test this in-game, you can see that, let's say, if you kill a level 1 Lancer on Earth, in an Earth Exterminate, for example, he'll come in with 50 base affinity, yet his current affinity will be 57. So I'm going to move this here. We'll say 50 base. Oh, and now his current affinity is 64. But ignore that for the matter just because it's uh, level 4 but we'll say level 1 and his base level is also 1 there we go whoops put this at 1 Whoa. so there's your Lancer affinity so it's down to 57 affinity even though the base is only 50 so that's an interesting little stat Anyways, moving on over to damage now. So as you can see over here, I have a base damage per shot of 65 and a base damage per second of 46.5. Now, these values are, I got those values from my own testing. You can't, the wiki does not show these values. They show every other value, the base shield, health, armor, etc. But they do not show the base damage, and then they don't show the base damage, damage per second, and damage per shot. So they don't show that. So you got to go and test this yourself. And the easiest way that I found to do this was essentially just go into the Simicrum and then grab a Nyx with Absorb and spawn an enemy and make sure they are at the current level is equal to the base level. So if their base level is 4, make sure that the enemy that you're testing it at has a current level of 4. So you spawn the enemy in at level 4. Or if they have a base level of 8, then you spawn them in at level 8. So whatever their base level is, that's the level that you spawn him in at. So you just bring a Nyx with an absorb build, just efficiency, duration, or whatever, and all you gotta do is just go in there, and then as soon as the enemy shoots you, one shot into the Nyx absorb, that's how you know that, well, that's the damage. So, say a Bombard shoots me, and he's got a base damage per shot of 65. So at level 4, he's doing 65 damage, and you're gonna see that in the top right corner of your uh, Nyx bubble, which calculates the total amount of damage that you've taken and then that it then stores into absorb and then you'll release that at the end but um uh, base damage per second is a little bit more complicated and also is a bit more useful than base damage per shot like damage per shot makes sense for like enemies like the bombards and napalms and stuff like that but as far as like heavy gunners and stuff it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to use base damage per shot not only because it takes an extra step to calculate because you essentially have to record the video and then look back at the video to make sure that you're getting the right number just because the rate of fire is so high so it's not really easy just to look at it like uh, as like a bombard for example because they shoot roughly like a little less than one round per second so essentially what you do is just the base damage per second and to calculate that all I was using was a stopwatch and using Nyx and then so say I would take in the base damage that I was taking over a period of time. So let's say three minutes or however long you'd like it. So basically the longer the period of time that you're taking the base damage in, um, essentially the more accurate your re actual base damage per second number is going to be. So essentially the longer the better. Otherwise, uh, let's say if you only test it for like three seconds, then it's gonna be you're going to have a highly... Uh, you're probably going to have a highly inaccurate number. So essentially I did my testing over about three minute period so essentially you just do the total damage that you've taken, let's just say 10,000 and then uh, divide it over the number of seconds. So 60 times 3 is 180 so it's just 10,000 over 180 seconds giving you your base damage per second. Um, and I'm just doing that in my head so I, I don't know how much that actually is but um, that's essentially just how you calculate base damage per second. And as you can see here, the actual formulas for it are A8, which is the base damage per shot, and both the, both the formulas for them are the same, so you don't have to worry about that. So it's either base damage per shot or base damage per second, and then times 1 plus B2 minus C2, B2 being the current level and C2 being the base level, to the power of 1.55 times 0 0.015. So that's your formula for damage. Now over here, we have effective health, damage reduction percentage, and time to kill self damage in seconds. So let's talk about effective health here for a second. Formula is D2 times 1 plus D4 over 300 plus D6. So let's go over here and see exactly what those are. We got D2 which is the current health and then you got D4 which is the current armor and then you got you're dividing essentially so it's just the current health times 1 plus the current armor over 300 and dividing it by 300 that's essentially giving you the uh, damage reduction percentage over here and then you're uh, adding d6 onto that so the current shield the current shield is not affected by armor so that's why you are multiplying this 
the current health by the armor, and then you're just adding the shield on top of that. So the shield's not part of this bit of it, which is actually giving you all your extra effective health. So, say if I just add, we'll say this enemy has another 100 shield on top, it now has only 100 more shield here. So, I mean 127 more shield here, it's not gaining that extra bit from the armor. So, effective health is essentially just how much health the enemy kind of has since you're shooting at them. It's, it's like a pseudo health pool, in a sense, in that, let's say um, an enemy has a certain armor value and it gives me a damage reduction percent of 50%. And if their current health is 100, that means that their effective health is essentially equal to 200, because it's going to take me twice as long to kill that enemy, because they have sort of twice the amount of health, even though they don't, even though they still only have 100, but they have kind of like 200 health. So the damage reduction percentage here is essentially just 1 minus D2 over, uh, over uh, F2 minus D6, and we can look exactly what that is. We have D2, which is the current health, so 1 minus the current health over F2, which is the effective health minus D6 with the current shield. So essentially, the F2 minus D6 is just canceling out the current shields because you don't want that in the final damage reduction calculation. So we have the current shield there, and we're just subtracting that. So in the answer here for base armor of 1,000, we have a 78.7% damage reduction uh, at level 10. And this will drastically increase with level. So we'll say at level 1000, for example, we have a 0.9996. So essentially, you're going to be dealing one damage for about one in every 2000. So if you deal 2000 damage to the enemy, you're actually only going to be dealing one damage to them. So this really scales up pretty quickly. So let's say we put this enemy at the level cap. It gets even more ridiculous, so it's like one damage for every 20,000 that you deal. So then, right here, we have the time to kill and self-damage in seconds, and all this is is just the effective health over the uh, damage per second. So this is not the actual time to kill, it's only accurate for a couple enemies, and it's just giving you a general idea of what the time to kill would be. Actual time to kills are dependent on oh, way more factors and it's really really complicated so I won't get into that but this is just going to give you the general idea of what the time to kill would be. However it is accurate from bombards except uh, they can proc blast so they would actually increase this time to kill but this time to kill is accurate if they didn't proc any uh, blast procs because um, the armor modifiers and the health modifiers don't really affect uh, since the blast damage doesn't really affect um, the Bombard's armor, it's just a flat 1.0 multiplier against it, so you don't have to worry about that. But essentially, it's just the effective health over the damage per second, so that gives you the current uh, time to kill and self-damage in seconds. I think I calculated it for like a Bombard at uh, the level cap, and I believe it was something absurd, like a year and... 28 days or something along that matter, so it gets really crazy. So here, at least, the current time to kill on uh, level 1000... Oh wait, yeah, I put the base armor at 999, whoops. So let's put the current level at 999, and then the base armor at 500... Ooh, that should all be good. Let's remove the space shield, because that's going to affect our time to kill. Okay, there we go. So our time to kill in seconds is 33,884,815.84 seconds, and that's pretty accurate, but uh, that's just going to show just how crazy armor scaling is, because if we remove the armor just entirely from it, it becomes a much more manageable number. It comes 406 seconds versus the absurd, just over a year versus just a couple minutes. So that's just kind of goes to show how ridiculous armor scaling is. But anyways, that just about concludes the video. I'll leave a link below um, where you can find this calculator and then you can go and mess around with it as much as you want. But I know this video is a little bit different from what I usually do. There was no gameplay and I'll go back to the gameplay in a little bit. I'll have more videos like that and more record runs and stuff of that nature. But um, let me know if you guys like this. I know it was a little bit rambly, but I tried to get as much information as I could, and I tried to explain uh, level scaling as best as I can, so just leave some feedback in the comments below. Um, but as always, I'd like to thank you for watching the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.